Welcome to this basic tutorial about web export using Motiva Layama. Usually this application has been opened automatically after rendering the Layama project in 3ds Max, Unreal or whatever. In any case, you can also open the project by double clicking on the LYM file. Or opening the Layama and using the open file menu option. For simplicity, every single control has its own contextual help using tooltips. So, if you place your mouse over any control, a help message will appear. Anyway, we will describe each control in this video. The first field is the web title, the one using the header of any browser like Google Chrome, Firefox, Safari and so on. The second one is the web description, the one that is shown when you share the link using any messenger service like WhatsApp, Facebook chat or any other. If you don't want to spend time filling these fields, the titles will refer to be a pseudo VR web created using Motiva Layama. The loading logo is the logo shown in the browser while the web is loading. To illustrate this example, I will use these logos. The next one is the logo used during navigation, something like the TV channel logos. Using this combo option, we could choose to use no logo or where to place the on-screen one. Now we will set the actual logo to see how it looks on this sample. You probably won't use these advanced options, but they are there in case you need them in the future. You can change any render, position, data and so on. Probably the most useful option for a standard user is to change the camera name. In this case, I will name it Initial Camera. As you can imagine, this combo defines the initial point of view in the web navigation. Since I renamed the camera, I can find it easily. By increasing the televaluation, we will have a more precise navigation, but it will take more time to export and much bigger RAM usage. Notice that this only affects to memory in the workstation used to generate the web. Once it's exported, the web will be as light as before, but the computer used to generate that web will require more free memory. Polygon count means the number of triangles in the geometry that is used under the hood in the web. The default value is a really good trade-off between quality and speed, and it should work for almost any scenario. Anyway, if you want to increase it for a really big scene, you are free to do it. The last button opens a local navigator that is used to select the output folder for our web. That's all, we only need to wait some minutes until the full web has been generated. Once the export process is complete, a message is shown. It says that you won't be able to open your web locally. This is caused by some security restrictions to avoid malicious sites to have access to your hard drive data. Usually, Microsoft Edge bypasses these limits, so frequently you will be able to check your output even without uploading it to the Internet. As we expected, we can see the loading logo meanwhile the navigation is starting, and the on-screen logo on the general view. The next question is how we can make this available to the general public. Or what should we do if Edge is not loading the web locally? Both questions have the same answer. We should load the web to our own web server using an FTP client like FileZilla. Uploading a Lima project to your host has no differences with uploading any other file like images or so. We only need to drag and drop the entire output folder and every single file will be uploaded. Once the upload is complete, we should share the link to our index.html. And that's all. We have a web that can be navigated by rotating your point of view, moving your cameras and everything that you have already seen in the samples. Thank you for your time.